welcome back. You are still watching the Eastern Business Report right here on Afia TV. I am Ifoma Ajumobi, Ifi Melody, reaching you live from Indigo, Nigeria. Now, we will we are being joined by Iche Sunday Ifrem Eze Obiora, the Executive Chairman of Sanchi Integrated Farms Limited and the National President of Poultry Association of Nigeria. He's going to talk to us about food security and, of course, the need to save the poultry industry from crumbling under harsh economic policies. Just recently, poultry farmers warned of impending collapse in the industry. In a joint statement signed by him, Chief Sunday Ezobiora, National President of PAN, and Onalu Abba, the Director General of the Association in Abuja, it said that the crisis in Nigeria's poultry industry could get much worse as farmers lose the capacity to feed their birds due to rising costs of maize and scarcity. Now, this was disclosed in a joint statement signed by the association, and it also said that the poultry industry was was negatively affected this year by the Naira scarcity, which led to a glut and the intervention in some states. Now, the poultry also chief, the poultry chief noted that the industry is on the verge of collapse if urgent steps are not taken to address the situation. And this is what we are looking at today and to have more insights on what exactly is going on, we have Ichie Sunday Eze Obiora right here in the studio with us. Of course, the national president of the Poultry Association of Nigeria. He's going to be giving us more insight. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the program. I'm great to have you here. Thank you, from, uh, <laughs> Thank you, viewers. Yeah, and um, bringing you here hasn't been easy at all. I mean, there's been serious series of follow-ups, and um, you know, you are really a very busy man, and we don't take this, um, you know, opportunity and chance for granted. You have also been pushing for the poultry industry and sector, you know, to have balance and structure for a while. And this sector seems to have been hit left, right, and center with different policies and issues and challenges. Tell us exactly what is going on now. Now, you people have um, put up press releases, press conferences, made a request, cried out to the government. Is government listening? What exactly is going on? Thank you. Um, I will say that government, they are not listening. They are listening, but um, the problem is the, I don't think they understand very well the level of crisis poultry association or poultry industry is passing through. Um, for the past two years now, we have been encountering one problem or the other, and none of them is small. For example, after COVID problem, we now entered uh, into a series of uh, bird flu, attacking several states. From there, we now encounter um, Naira the design, which almost uh, altered the entire industry. For example, we have about um, 60 million eggs on daily basis from 90 million layers all over the Federation. We have about 180 million broiler every, every month or every day. But then, within the period of Naira design, nobody asks you how much. The reason was there was no cash. Even those that have a card cannot do transfer because of the problem of POS then. Those in the rural areas don't even know what is called POS or cash transfer. You believe me that most of the business in rural area, 90% goes through cash. And who are those consumers of eggs? Those that buy three pieces, six pieces, one crate. In the villages, there was no transaction of such. That was when we started losing too much money. Every day as president, I would receive call. The other farmer would call me and say, President, I'm burying 30,000 crates of eggs. 
The next day, the other one will call us and say, oh, we are bearing 50,000 crates of egg. Not this is crates. Each crate contains 30 eggs. 30 eggs, yes. Yes. And you pay for labor to bury it. You pay for labor yes, to bury for, it? Yes, you pay for labor to bury it. And we were crying. Nobody was listening. We called the government to, OK, can you instruct um, government agencies like I, I, IPN, um, um, prison and the uh, IDP camps, or even police authority to come and evacuate it, and they pay us less, and nobody listed. So the poultry industry then almost collapsed, because the production cost of egg then was between 1,007 and 2,000, depends on, on the capacity of the farm. If you have a larger operation, your price may be 1,007. If you have smaller operation, your production cost may be up to 2,000. As we are coming out from the crisis that almost Not collapsed, the design, yes. yep. maize problem started. Maize jumped from, by September last year, maize was 169,000 per ton, per metric ton. As I'm talking to you now, Maize is 350,000 per metric ton market price. When we observed that uh, the maize crisis is going to cause more harm, we started shouting. We wrote government, CBN, Nigeria Commodity Exchange, and reluctantly they responded by giving us a location. And the location came at almost the same price with the open market. Our people reacted, and we calmed them down, say, let's get it, instead of not having it. But the, the most painful, painful part of it is, the, none of them gave us up to two weeks to come and pay and evacuate. And we have a very large organization. We have to contact the national body, call zonal meeting, call state meeting, and tell them, look, CBN and the, uh, Nigeria Commodity Exchange gave us maize. Let us share it. By the time we are preparing to share it, they now say the, the time given to people have elapsed. We wrote for extension. Only stock exchange, uh, commodity exchange, Nigeria Commodity Exchange accepted for two weeks. CBN didn't respond to our, our request. May started moving from 230, 240, 270, as I'm talking to you now, it's 350. Per metric ton. Per metric ton. The question is, the Nigerian people don't have capacity, purchasing power, to even buy the, the product. So we can, we farmers cannot match the price in the market with the maize. Purchasing power of the uh, Nigerian people are no more there based on fuel increment, so many factors, high cost of dollar. So if you take your egg to the market now at 1007, nobody buy. And the production cost based on the new reality now is up to 2002. So it's no more sustainable. We have cried and cried. We wrote, I think, uh, in 1st of June, July this, this month, we wrote save our sole message to president, copy to uh, vice president, senate president, speaker of the house, let they come to our rescue. I believe because of all the cries we made that prompted them to start all this move. But the issue is, this move is not enough because farmers are closing that. What move did they make? They, they have instructed the CBN and the uh, two release mess. But CBN up to now, they are still doing bureaucracy in government. Because that's what bureaucracy is what is killing Nigeria, everything in Nigeria. They don't, they don't have that speed to match up with our problem. So we need government to sit up, talk to CBN and other agencies like Nigeria Community Exchange to speed up the release of mess before the poultry industry totally collapse. All right, all right. All right. I mean, that's the bulk of the matter. Yes. I mean, there's no other thing to add to that. That's the bulk of the matter. Yes. Government needs to step in 
and speed up the process yes. of releasing maids. I yes. mean, they've given out this instruction. Yes. They need to ensure that the people who need to do what is necessary start doing it immediately. Immediately, without wasting any of that. Right, and that's the outcry of the Poultry Association of Nigeria still to the federal government and even to the CBN and the Nigerian Commodity Exchange. Thank you very much, Chief um, um, Sunday Zoviara Ichie. Thank you so much for the insights that you have shared on the program today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. And that was Ichie Sunday Ephraim Eze Obiora, Executive Chairman of Sonchi Integrated Farms Limited and the National President of the Poultry Association of Nigeria on food security and the need to save the poultry industry from collapse. This will be all on the Eastern Business Report today on Afia TV. Thank you for watching. Keep joining us here for more updates on business activities from the southeastern region. I am a former Ajumobi, Ifi Melody, reaching you live from Enugu, Nigeria. Do have a wonderful day. But of course, up next is global business. Stay tuned.